So welcome. Thank you. Very excited. So let me give you a tiny background on the office and like how it came to be and what we're gonna do today. The untouched look was actually named by a client because we were starting out doing this more diagnostic process where I'm gonna touch and feel your face and we're gonna choose the treatments based on the diagnosis, whereas most American clinics you go to, you choose the treatment, you walk in, you choose the filler, and it's not necessarily fixing the problem. And that's really the crux of why people start to look, as we call it, odd over time. So tell me your concern and how you got here and all that good stuff. I want to age appropriately. I don't want to look old, deep set wrinkles, really bad age spots, tired eyes. I know a lot of guys have a big complaint about looking tired. The interesting part when we look at the men that are receiving treatments is their hindrance to coming into an office, um, whether gay or straight, is either that they wait too long and then the men that are gay, they tend to like, it feels so beauty and the, the men that they see doing it do tend to start to look manufactured. But that's kind of our antithesis. We're all about looking healthy, rested, you may not be getting any sleep, but you look in the mirror and that reflects back to you that you are healthy and rested, which is really our goal. So let's do it. Um, I'm gonna touch and feel your face. Okay. I'm going to figure out what's what. Instead of thinking of Botox for wrinkles, think of Botox as a really good trainer to tell certain muscles that are pulling down to start to pull up so that you can have more lift in certain areas of your face. Okay, so go ahead, put your head back. I'm just gonna be touching and feeling. So what I'm feeling for are bony asymmetries. I'm feeling for your general bone structure. And then what's your ethnic background? Uh, German, Irish, very white. Well, the Irish, you have some really beautiful bone structure. I mean, your cheekbone structure is just wonderful. Yeah. That's great. Great bone structure is, will really take you far. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be checking for tissue elasticity and also like fascia connection. You're a little loosened through here. I'm gonna check your muscles now. So you're gonna squeeze your eyes shut tight. Raise up, raise your forehead up. This is like a common thing. You've been given more forehead Botox over time. Okay, you're gonna basically do this face, called the eek face. Good relax and do it one more time. Good relax, it's interesting you're much stronger on one side. Okay, and I'm just gonna be feeling for See, there's a little bit of fat, but it's actually more a little bit of lax. Okay, so, so you can have a reference because it's very hard for people to understand fascia without feeling. Think of it like Spanx, okay? Your fascia, your connective tissue. And as you're stretching it and de-stretching it and stretching it and de-stretching, even if it's little bits, and I have dealt with this personally, things will not be as tight to each other. So sometimes people come in, they're like, this is fat. And I'm like, actually, no, it's more a little bit of fat and mostly loose connective tissue. So I'm gonna give you a reference. I am gonna let you pull, try to pull my skin off of the bone, okay. and then you're gonna pull your own skin off of the bone, and you're gonna see how far the difference is. Okay. Try. Go ahead and I mean, I'm, try yeah. I'm yeah. trying. You're, it doesn't. <laughs> it's tight to the bone, right? Yeah. Now I want you to try here too. So it's it's movable because it should be. Oh, but it's not much at all. <laughs> no, try. And then yeah. Right, and so I want you to try are. right here too. Oh yeah. That can be a little typical, right, of age and also men, your skin's thicker. I can't stop doing this. <laughs> so that's just a reference point. Uh, we're gonna use two sets of photos. The first set is really important to us. It's actually lit by a movie director from Los Angeles. And what's important is that it's a real life lens. Uh, there's no flash in the camera. It's daylight. Um, we always caution new clients, like stop with the selfie camera, stop with the elevator photos, Stop with the overhead light photos, those are not real. When you inject by those kind of lights, you're actually not serving anyone because you're, you're chasing things that aren't real. So we're gonna use those first set of photos and then the 3D vector images. We use those, those are flash photography. So that's why I tell clients, that's why so many celebrities look really good on the red carpet. Everything is very flashed, <laughs> okay? So those we'll use for showing you asymmetry differences. Okay. So, ready? I'm ready. Okay. So we're gonna go through your face in thirds. I am going to critique some things a little. It's not personal, and bring so, it on. okay. Bring it on. And you have a lot of great features, beautiful cheekbones, really nice nose, perfect lips, and then eyes are a really big one for me that are just so nice on you. And however, they look heavy, and I believe that part of the heaviness is due to this. So this muscle, <laughs> see how far it pulls everything down? Yes. Think of it just as a large down muscle. 
think of your forehead as a large up muscle. And this is a very, very common thing that I see, particularly when people think, I'm gonna go do Botox for wrinkle prevention. They get wrinkle prevention generally starting in their forehead, because it's generally where they see the wrinkle first. However, over time, because this up muscle is being weakened, their down muscles then compensate. And so the heaviness of the brow became, becomes more than it actually would. You always want to maintain up muscles because you're not gonna care as much about a few wrinkles as much as feeling like my brows are on top of my lids. So the way I would rework your Botox is that you need really much heavier units here. I'd really like to see nothing pulling down that will give you a brow lift. And then really you need a Botox diet on your forehead. As much as that might scare you a little. It scares me. I, <laughs> it, it, will, it will be much better. Okay. You, you may not look, you may feel like, oh my God, I have a wrinkle when you look in a close up mirror. However, you will look much better to other people. Okay. And overall you will look <laughs> better and you will okay. age better. It will be more preventative. Okay, that's what I like, preventative. Mm -hmm. Much, much more preventative. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're changing. Here that is a different <laughs> photo. Here are our Symmetry 3D photos. Okay. I'm about to show you the Symmetry model. Okay. This is two right sides of your face. This is two left sides of your face. Your left side is arguably a little higher and a little more masculine, just because the jaw is a little wider. So we're not going for perfect symmetry. We're just going to like so that you don't feel like you're a Picasso over time. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, willing, and able if okay. you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really simple. Uh, let's clean your hands. A little hand sanitizer. Here's a little squeezy. Buzzing decreases pain, so you just hold like your chin or collarbone. Amazon. <laughs> uh, this is just the drop of the numbing. Can you tone poke? Let's do all the Botox first, Ellie, while this comes up. Was your ear always this way? Mm -hmm. So fascinating. So this is Botox, which you've had the feeling of. I usually just say three, two, one poke. This is actually a special dilution. It's quite strong. Um, I particularly use this for men because it helps me to be able to get enough units to lift you without you falling. Because again, most of the issues I see is that the forehead is treated too much and then people get heavy. Squeeze your eyes shut really tight. Good, relax. Three, two, one, poke. Squeeze your eyes shut really tight. Good, relax. Poke. 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 I try to pick out the politicians that have I've done stuff. Oh yeah? Do I haven't done that game yet. I feel like Lindsey Graham gets Botox. Ellie's gonna do something cold on you that feels really good. It's gonna help bring down these bumps. Okay. And now you're gonna make that eek face and I'm gonna grab your neck and do some injections, okay? Okay. Here. Okay, you can relax. Ooh, this is gonna be weird. Three, two, one, poke. And make that face again. Do it again. Okay, go ahead and make the eek face. Relax. It's like literally a magic wand. You look better here. That looks more like that. Yeah. Wow. This is great. And this is this is it. This is done. Mm-hmm. That's it. The only thing you can't do today is work out. That's all. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up. And this is the good side too.